Yeah, shit, yeah. y'all. To the beat, y'all. Freak, freak, y'all. And we don't stop. What's been the worst thing about sitting out and watching your team go after this playoff spot right now? Um, you know what? I, the only the only bad thing about it is just not being in there. I mean, the guys have done a great job being able to to hold things together. Um, I mean, we we've had to do it the entire year. Um, you know, when Chase went down, when Shane went down, Jimmy went down, we just had to pick each other up. And you know, when I went down, I wouldn't expect them to do anything less than to go out there and just you know try to pick each other up. So the guys have been kind of picking me up and. Um, Carlos told me, he said, hey, take your time, I got you. And he's been going out there, he's been picking us up. So, um, you know, all that I can ask him to do is just keep going and then just try to jump on that ship when I get back. He needs to get better. Did you think you were going to get a pitch to hit tonight? I mean, the way it was going, it threw the shift on you. He had to I know, it. right? Just one stuff. Oh, my retirement? <laughs> <laughs> No, you know what? The guys kind of gave me a little bit of a scouting report on the guy. Say he had a firm, you know, a good firm fastball, um, good breaking ball. So, I mean, I know down here, I know the guys, you know, want to try to prove themselves. You know, the scouts and everybody in the stands. But I mean, the kid had good stuff, um, good firm fastball. Uh, first that be was trying to kind of see some pitches or whatever, and took a couple swings, and you know, it just I had to try to let it come back to me. And, uh, <laughs> You know, but my second at bat was able to put the ball out and play. So it felt good because I wanted to actually test it to see about pushing off of it out of the box, see how it's going to be getting down the line. And, um, you know, obviously hitting the double, being able to run around first base and going into second. So I mean, it was a pretty good test. Yeah. You spent some time before the game at BP shagging balls with Josh Zide and Jonathan Singleton. Uh, a lot of people around these parts kind of compare Singleton to you at times. Have you been familiar with Singleton, and who are some of the other guys you were familiar with? I mean, he's got a great swing, great approach. I was watching him, you know, his first at bat against the lefty when he hit the ball back up the middle. I mean, he's got he's got a great approach. I mean, he's going to be good. He's going to be really good. He's got pop. I heard he's, like, 18. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, he's got a bright, bright future ahead of him. So, he's got, he's got it going for him. So this, this brought back any specific memories from your, your year in there, too? One guy asked me, one guy asked me how how far the ball was that I hit here over the one of the signs tonight. And uh, I mean it, it brought back, you know, a lot of memories. It made me think about that. It made me think about, you know, we always had good crowds when, when I was here and just a lot of things, you know, that haven't really changed um, since I've been here and things that have changed. I noticed they didn't do the hit it here sign anymore. <laughs> up there on the I never understood that how if you hit a home run, somebody in the stands hits car and you don't get anything. <laughs> <laughs> they should get a car, we should get a car, and the pitcher who threw the ball should get a car. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, it's always good memories, you know, coming back and, and just, you know, enjoying it, the crowd just continuing to, continuing to show love, so it's always special. <laughs> Can do it, take our time, do it right, we can do it.